an enemy convoy rolls to a stop, the commander of the lead vehicle popping open the hatch on his IFV and scanning the desert with his binoculars. The coast is clear, no sign of American forces anywhere. Sliding back into his vehicle, he gives the command for the convoy to begin rolling again. Suddenly, there's the roar of an M1 Abrams firing its main gun, and the rearmost vehicle goes up in flames. A second roar from a different position, and the lead vehicle is destroyed. The enemy convoy is in full panic now, but with both the lead and rear vehicle destroyed, the rest of the convoy is having a hard time breaking from the tightly packed formation. Enemy troops scan the desert all around them. Where in the world is the firing coming from? Then they see it, an M1 Abrams materializing out of thin air, followed by a second and then a third and a fourth. From an opposite direction, Bradley infantry fighting vehicles seem to shimmer into an existence from an empty desert. The enemy is surrounded, but how in the world did the American forces become invisible? This scenario may seem like something out of Star Trek or Harry Potter, but a Canadian company called Hyper Stealth Biotechnology Inc. has made it a reality. The new technology is called Quantum Stealth, and it can actually make something as large as a tank completely invisible. How might you ask? Well, let's find out. Remember, this is real technology that could be used in the military in the next few years. So forget about the fantasy and science fiction worlds of television and movies. Real life is about to get a lot more interesting. The exact way the material that makes quantum stealth and invisibility possible is kept secret by the inventor and CEO of Hyperstealth Biotechnology Inc., Guy Kramer. The company is based out of British Columbia, Canada, and over 3,000 military vehicles are currently using camouflage designs created by the company. Quantum Stealth has been examined by two separate command groups within the United States military and the Canadian military. All personnel who have seen the actual Quantum Stealth material have verified that the technology is real and works. But how does it work? That is a mystery. We'll break down the science and then examine how the technology could be used in different military scenarios. Again, this is not science fiction, this is real technology that makes things invisible using real science. What a time to be alive. From the little we know about quantum stealth, one thing is clear. The way the material makes things invisible is through the bending of light. The material that is used is kept secret, but the principle is actually all around us in nature. The quantum stealth material refracts light using a series of small lenses. Refracting is a fancy scientific term for the bending of light. The quantum stealth material surrounds whatever object the military wants to make invisible, then the material refracts light around the object. But how does it make the object invisible? First, we need to discuss light waves. The way you and I and every other human sees is by gathering and focusing light using our eyes. When light comes into contact with an object, it bounces off it in all directions. If you are in the reflected light's path, some of that light enters your eyes. Your brain interprets the light waves, and that's how you see everything around you. This is an oversimplification, but it's a quick version of how we see objects. The key to quantum stealth is that instead of allowing light to bounce off an object, the quantum stealth material bends light around the object. Therefore, if you have a tank surrounded by the quantum stealth material, light is bent around the tank. If the light never reaches the tank, there's no light bouncing off of it to be sent to your eyes, and the tank is invisible to you and everyone else. And once again, this is not some science fiction concept. Refraction of light happens all the time. We can prove it. Take a glass of water and stick a straw in it, then look down into the glass of water. You'll see that the straw above the water is in one spot and the straw below the water has shifted to the side. Did the actual straw bend? No. The light is being bent as it passes through the medium of air to the medium of water. The light your eyes capture to see the straw has been bent as the light moves from one medium to another. Cool, right? Quantum stealth works the same way. The quantum stealth material is made up of lenses to create a medium that does not reflect light back or let light through. Instead, the material bends the light around it, making any object on the other side completely invisible. For those of you who are still with us, and we hope that's everyone, things are about to get a little crazier. If the refraction of light can make things invisible, then why don't you become invisible every time you jump into a pool or an ocean or any other medium besides air? Clearly, this doesn't happen, and if it does happen to you, send us an email so we can make a video about how you've broken the laws of physics. Instead, when you enter a new medium, light is bent. The light still reflects off of you, just at a different angle. You're still visible, you just look like you're in a slightly different spot. The quantum stealth material is unique in the way it bends light. It creates what's called a dead spot behind it. 
This is how the quantum stealth material causes objects to become completely invisible. When light enters the lenses, it's refracted in two opposite directions. This creates the dead spot in the middle of where the light waves have separated. Therefore, anything that's placed within the dead spot is invisible since no light waves reach it. And since radar, night vision, and thermal sensors all use a form of light wave to detect objects, quantum stealth also makes things it's surrounding invisible to those forms of detection as well. There is no power source. The quantum stealth material is paper thin, and Guy Kramer has reported it is inexpensive. Quantum stealth will most likely be the military's choice of camouflage in the future, but what would they use it for? It is a really cool concept, but is it practical? Let's see. Imagine a pilot flying over enemy territory. They're taking reconnaissance pictures and gathering intel. There is suddenly a malfunction in the jet. Sparks start spraying out of the flight console. The only way the pilot can keep from catching fire in the cockpit is to eject. The pilot pulls the handle on the side of the seat, the canopy flies up, and they're ejected into the air. The enemy will see the plane crash, but what about the pilot? Large parachutes are easy to spot against a blue sky, but what if the parachute was invisible? The parachute could be made out of the quantum stealth material, allowing the pilot to safely glide down to the ground without being spotted. The pilot can hide under the quantum stealth parachute, making them completely invisible to all forms of visual sensors, including eyesight. The pilot calls for extraction and safely waits undetected until the cavalry arrives. Another thing to think about is the tactical advantage quantum stealth could give special forces units. An entire boat of Navy SEALs could be docked offshore. The boat using quantum stealth so it's invisible. Normally, special forces teams work under the cover of night, but now they can be invisible at any time of the day. They plan their mission to take place in the middle of the afternoon when their target is most vulnerable. The SEAL team is outfitted in quantum stealth dive suits, and they swim ashore undetected, complete their mission, and return to their invisible boat. The best part is that by the time the enemy realizes what happened, it'll be too late. The SEAL team will already be safely back at base. When the enemy goes to review camera logs and sensors, nothing will come up. The quantum stealth made sure the SEALs were invisible to all types of sensors. It even kept them from casting shadows. They are invisible and undetectable. The enemy's baffled by the unexplained infiltration of their outpost. Since the quantum stealth material is versatile and relatively cheap, the military may use it to camouflage larger objects. Take a plane hangar, for instance. The United States Air Force can build and store prototype and cutting-edge aircraft without the enemy ever knowing. If the whole hangar was surrounded by quantum stealth material, the enemy would have no clue it was even there. The hangar would be undetectable by aerial surveys and satellites. The military could work in complete secrecy. We talked about camouflaging one tank in quantum stealth, but what about a whole battalion? What if a group of tanks could infiltrate enemy lines and get into striking position without ever being noticed? The only indication that the tanks were there would be from the sound of the engines and the firing of their cannons. But at that point, it would be too late for the enemy. Even early warning detection systems wouldn't be able to pick up the signatures of the battalion of tanks. Each one would be outfitted with its own quantum stealth technology. They would be able to fire, reposition, and fire again, taking out any enemy in their path without being seen. The tanks would be undetectable except by sound. This brings up another important point about quantum stealth. The technology is not only effective at making military assets invisible, but the psychological warfare that goes along with it could be just as devastating as bullets and bombs. Imagine fighting an enemy you cannot see or detect. Military forces with quantum stealth can move freely across battlefields and infiltrate bases without leaving anything but footprints and tire tracks behind. The toll that would take on the opposing soldiers would be insurmountable. How do you fight an army you can't see? How do you defend against vehicles and crafts that are undetectable? You can't. You may be wondering if this technology will be available to everyone. At this point, only the US and Canadian militaries have access to the quantum stealth camouflage. Would knowing the principles of how quantum stealth material works allow someone to create their own invisibility cloak? At this point, it would seem no one else has unlocked the secrets of the quantum stealth material. The concept of how it works is basic physics, but engineering the material has only been accomplished by Guy Kramer and his company. In fact, Kramer has stated that he's already developed a countermeasure for quantum stealth, so if someone were to figure out how it's done, he would be able to detect it. Presumably, this information would be shared with the military if enemy forces got their hands on quantum stealth technology. Having access to quantum stealth technology gives the military an immense advantage on the battlefield. But what other applications does the quantum stealth material have? Kramer has already patented other uses for his technology, some of which could change the world for everyone, not just the military. The same material used to create quantum stealth camouflage can also be used as a solar panel amplifier. 
Tests using current solar panel technology paired with the quantum stealth material showed that the solar panels could more than triple their output. Guy Kramer was able to increase the output on three different solar panel designs by threefold each. That is really impressive. The quantum stealth material could change the game when it comes to harnessing the power of the sun. Quantum stealth camouflage is a reality. It renders objects completely invisible and undetectable by sensors. As of right now, the military is the only ones that have access to this technology, and it'll change the way war is fought. Using basic principles of physics, Hyperstealth Biotechnology Inc. has turned invisibility cloaks into a reality, but the world as a whole might benefit even more from the other applications of the quantum stealth material. Maybe someday we'll stop burning fossil fuels that are causing climate change and get more energy from the sun using quantum stealth technology. If you want to learn about stealth technology, watch our video Next Generation Stealth Bomber B-21 Raider. What do we know about it? Or if you want to get a glimpse on how quantum stealth might tip the scale in favor of the United States military, watch these will be the most powerful militaries in 2020.